everyone, and welcome to Your City, Your News, where we inform you about issues and topics happening in the city of El Segundo. I'm Molly Perlman. A grand opening ceremony recently took place to celebrate completion of the 13-year remodernization of an El Segundo power plant. Catherine Chen reports. After more than a million work hours put in by hundreds of contractors, vendors, and employees to complete construction, today NRG is commemorating the repowering and modernization of the El Segundo Energy Center. The plant will provide 550 megawatts of efficient and flexible electricity to the California grid, enough to power nearly 450,000 homes. The new plant we built here is much quieter, much more efficient, much more environmentally friendly than anything that's built. These efficient units deliver more than half of their generating capacity in less than 10 minutes and the balance in under one hour, providing backup for renewable energy sources like wind and solar. The wind doesn't always blow and the sun is not always shining. To be able to put a lot more renewables on the grid, you need this type of plant. Environmental benefits include reduced emissions and air cooling instead of ocean water cooling, reducing the use of potable water at the site by nearly 90 percent. The new units are air cooled and they're also 30 percent more efficient from a greenhouse gas perspective. No state or local tax dollars were used for this project and during the peak period of construction it created nearly 400 jobs in the local community. The project is expected to increase annual tax revenue in excess of $3 million per year. Southern California Edison will obtain the entire output of the facility through a 10-year power purchase agreement. For more information, visit nrgenergy.com. A new smartphone app is enlisting the public's help in tracking down sexual predators, including fugitives. The U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has launched the iPhone app Operation Predator. The first-of-its-kind app allows users to receive alerts about suspected child predators, share information with friends via email and social media, and submit tips. Users can submit a tip by phone or by filling out a tip form in the app. All tips can be submitted anonymously. Currently, Operation Predator can be downloaded using Apple's App Store or iTunes. The U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement stated its app would be available on other devices in the near future. Well, after many months of planning and construction, the site that once was occupied by Cook's Market is now a 99 cents only store. Its official grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony with city officials will take place on Thursday, September 26th at 7.45 a.m. All those in line by that time will be given raffle tickets for a chance to win store gift cards or the grand prize of a 40-inch flat screen TV. Following the ceremony, the store will also have doorbuster deals for the first, second, and third 99 customers in line. To visit the new store or to find out how you can apply to one of the store's 50 job openings, stop by 300 Richmond Street. September is National Disaster Preparedness Month and if you're a pet owner, here are a few ways to include your pets in your emergency plans. Visit ASPCA.org to get a rescue alert sticker to let people know that pets are inside your home. Also make an emergency supply and travel kit that includes three to seven days of pet food, bottled water, and recent photos of your pets. Lastly, prearrange a safe place to bring your pets to in case the disaster shelter does not accept them. For more tips on getting pet prepared, please visit ASPCA.org slash pet care slash disaster preparedness. Well, that's all for today. Remember that you can also keep up with us on Facebook by visiting us at facebook.com slash El Segundo TV and on YouTube by searching El Segundo TV. Enjoy past segments and find out about future stories coming to you here soon. Thanks for watching Your City, Your News. I'm Molly Perlman. We'll see you next time.